stuff on the pitch, but now they're involved in a whole new ball game. Football is hot property in the 1990s. The players are superstars, household names, and everywhere you look, the sport and its big names are being used to sell, sell, sell. It's profound. But the fashion industry is in the front line. The model professionals are now professional models. Newcastle launched their own clothing label recently, and who better to show it off than the team? The FA have brought out their own Premier League label, and the Middlesbrough squad were there to launch the range. But it gets more serious than that. It's not just sports where they're modelling. Some players are now the darlings of the top designers. The world of Hope Couture is using footballers as its clothes horses. I think now it's got to the point, if you don't see a celebrity um, in an advertising campaign, then you wonder who it is if it's not a celebrity. And a lot of clothes manufacturers, a lot of clothes and um, designers and now using footballers and sports personalities for their clothes. The influx of foreign stars such as Patrick Berger and Eric Cantona has raised the profile of Premier League football. Newcastle's David Ginola has a modelling contract with Ceruti and takes turns on the catwalk. Even our homegrown talent is getting in on the act. Dean Holdsworth and Trevor Sinclair have modelled for a high street clothes shop and others are following. Footballers are very much in vogue. I think um, footballers have become the pop stars of the 90s. A lot more girls are interested in football. Football seems a lot more accessible. A lot more girls go to the match with their dads and brothers and boyfriends. So we've decided there is a real a need for to feature footballers in the magazine. Modelling does come second to training. All jobs have to be squeezed into busy schedules with the permission of the manager. But a photo shoot or fashion show can enhance the image of a club and the bank balance of those lucky players who do seem to get a real buzz out of it. I think it's great. It's, um, it's good fun. It's quite easy, relaxed. Um, you get to see all the latest clothes that are out. Um, try some of them on. But it's good fun. I think it's just one of those things that comes along and uh, it's another sort of string to your bow or, you know, something else that you can try. And players are exploring other areas too. Wimbledon's Vinnie Jones hosts a chat show on British television. There's the future to think of. Not all players want to be coaches or managers. I, I'm modeling in, uh, in Paris one time, it's second time for me. But uh, I think it's very funny, very funny. But uh, I think the most important is to don't forget that uh, we are football player at first. But right now the fashion world is besotted with the football look. And who's complaining? It's one of the glamorous spin-offs of the English football revolution.